<clears throat> hey peeps, welcome to another video on EITG. Uh, that is now the acronym for my YouTube channel, Eternals Information Technology Group. Uh, today's video, yeah, I already got most of it apart, is I'm going to be building my cousin a Game Boy for Christmas. Uh, it'll be somewhat similar to this once it is finished. As you can see, the screen is black because, ta-da, backlit Game Boy. I also managed to track down a copy of his first game that I know of that he got for his Game Boy Color back then. Pokemon uh, Red. Yes, this is a reproduction. I could not find a legit cartridge in time. Um, but it works just as good as the actual game. Uh, make sure you actually saw that because I got my camera where I can't actually see the feed. Sorry about that. Um, the red shell is the color Game Boy he had when we were kids. When we were kids. And, uh, well, I tried fixing the board for it, but I later found out that the power switch piece was too damaged in there. Uh, take it out of the back so I can show you better. If the Game Boy gets intermittent power, and you've checked everything, you've checked the traces, you've checked the capacitors, uh, you've scrubbed down the contacts on the battery components. Like, if you even look right in there, or heck, even right here on these contacts, this board had some really bad corrosion throughout it. But I got it working somewhat, but the final part was right here. I'm not sure if y'all can see that, but that whole thing was bad, and the little piece that goes in here was also broken. I have looked everywhere for one of these switches just to fix this board because I wanted to use this board. Unfortunately, I could not find it anywhere. I've looked on AliExpress, I've looked on eBay, I even just tried a generic Google search, and I just cannot find these anywhere. Uh, so if anyone knows where I can find those, please hit me up in the comment section below with uh, the point me in the right direction. So I would still like to get this board fixed and keep it as a backup in case uh, something happens to one of these boards that I'm giving out for Christmas presents. Anyways, uh, so I guess let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse this. Uh, so I gotta find more DRM music. However, first before I get to that, I'm going to be putting a backlight in this Game Boy, a backlight screen. But, it's not going to be the same screen. This one is cheaper. However, this one includes a, uh, a level, not a level, a brightness level change touchpad piece. Which I'm going to put right here where this, uh, IR sensor goes. The reason I got this is my Game Boy Color with the backlight screen I have, which if I remember right is a McWill. Uh, I'll edit this post-production with the actual name on subtitles below. Uh, but the one I have in mind, the batteries die very quickly, and I'm using Duracell Quantums in that. And I want this to be able to last longer form, so I chose one with a variable backlight. Um, I get all my parts like this from RetroModding.com. No, they are not a sponsor. Wish they were, but they're not. And, uh, this particular kit comes with the LCD, and little centering brackets. Sorry, I, I took this out earlier and I didn't even realize I had centering brackets. Uh, as well as the converter board. And a nice little, uh, well, here's the converter board. Looks like it's got double-sided tape in there to hold, hold it together. And, uh, this. If you notice, the little square, it's smaller than the original one. And that's because, try as they might, I actually don't know the reason, but <clears throat> the backlit drop-in replacements, which are a perfect drop-in for these things, 
and even the AGS-101 mod are unable to perfectly replicate the exact sizing for the Game Boy Color screens. Uh, but, these particular backlight screens that I choose to use do have a perfect one, well I guess you'd call it one to one ratio, so this way there's no screen tearing that I know of. So, oh and by the way, this is actual glass. So, uh, it's pretty much scratch resistant, but be careful because it's glass. It will break if you're not careful with it. So I'm going to set that to the side where it won't get broken. So yeah, um, uh, you all will watch as I time lapse this video. See y'all in the next clip. <laughs>
there's the top piece where the cutouts are for the original ribbon cable. So that fits through there nicely. And while it moves around, if you actually get in there a little bit, it doesn't move that much. So, also, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here, there's a little cutout as well. So that makes a perfect place to put the little IR receiver right there. Um, it's supposed to come with double-sided tape. I'm pretty sure that was not double-sided tape I put down. Yeah, no, that's just single-sided tape. So, I'm going to continue working on this in time-lapse mode. Whoops. No one saw that. Yeah, I'm going to continue working on this in time-lapse mode, and uh, wish me luck, y'all. See, how do I... Alright, okay. dimmer screen for this Game Boy. Well, like I said, I wanted the batteries to last longer. I also wanted to have a variable control for the lights. Uh, also, he's lucky. He man I managed to get one of these because they had them in stock this time. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say Game Boy Color, but at least this way it perfectly inframes the screen itself. Uh, I consider this a good mod. I mean, it's technically cheap. Cheaper than the one the 8-bit guy did. Uh, and as far as I know, last I checked, that particular company is out of stock. Retromodding.com has all these parts available, as well as new shells. Turn that down so I don't get copyrighted. Uh, as well as buttons, uh, different kinds of screens, all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll post a link in the description for this particular screen. And yes, it was a McWill that is currently in my personal Game Boy Color. I took the... my, uh, protector off, mainly because 
well, I wanted a proper side-by-side -side comparison. Now, this is a reproduction shell on here. It had some issues, in my opinion, that I just current, personally didn't care for. Um, I built this to be a complete replica of my own personal Game Boy from when I was a kid. Down to the color, the numbers, all of it. If I could track down that Game Boy, I would. But, trying to find one Game Boy out of millions out there, all across the globe, it's not going to happen. Uh, I would love to have it back. I never will get it back. It was my very first Game Boy Color, my very first handheld console, uh, and my very first Game Boy was Pokemon. And, just like my cousin, who this is a Christmas present for, by the way, he does not know this video will be going up, I got him Pokemon Red to go with his very colored Game Boy Color. This is an original shell. Uh, this, as well as, well, the purple one that I got it to get the board out of, both came from Japan. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you did not know this. However, as far as I can tell, all Game Boy Colors are universally compatible. Um, so, like, this is a reproduction of Dragon Warrior 3. This is a reproduction of Pokemon Red. I personally don't mind reproductions as long as they work. Um, so, but yeah, anyways, I have Pokemon Yellow for my Dandelion Yellow Game Boy Color. I'm going to beat the Elite Four, and then I'm going to challenge my cousin to complete the Pokedex once again. Uh, and the good thing about a reproduction, well, it might not use good hardware sometimes, so like flash memory won't last as long. You don't have to worry about your save battery dying. Mainly because that's a pain to solder on solder without losing your save data. It's, no. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I am not sponsored by Retromodding. Uh, dot com. And, see how this looks. Uh, and once again, all links will be in the description below on where you can get both the McWill Backlight LCD, the screen lenses, I'm sorry, I want to play this, as well as uh, this particular backlight. Now, when you, this backlight is built to have the controller up here. Mainly because that's where the IR sensor is. As far as I can tell, it will not interfere with the IR sensor because of how thin it is. Uh, but it's good to have it in the IR sensor location because that is a, well, I can't think of the current word, but see-through material. So, transparent material, there we go. So it's able to better, in my, from what I understand, conduct your finger presses. Also, that's the backlight off, so you can play it like it's an original Game Boy Color. Uh, I already said farewell. This is going on longer than I thought. I apologize for that once again. Please subscribe to EITG, Eternals Information Technology Group. I'm currently working on a logo, um, as well as new merch, which will not be posted for a few more months. Uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment, tell me what I can do better, what I can do worse. If you want to see me hit myself with a hammer, hell, just comment in the section below and I might hit myself with a hammer. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Oui. And bad place to have a camera.